How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about my LG G4 right here and we'll be showing you guys how to firmware restore the LG G4 in case you brick it. Maybe you want to unroot the device. Maybe you need to restore it to stock firmware so you can return it for warranty. Whatever might be the reason, that's what we're going to cover today. A lot of you have been asking for this video so I finally found a little time to whip it up together. So that being said, hope you enjoy it and let's go do this. First thing you're going to need to do here on your LG G4 is to go in here and go into settings, general, scroll to the bottom where you see about phone, and you need to find out what your device is. So the best thing to do is to go in here to the uh, software, and you want to look at this right here, the software version. That's going to be key in um, identifying this device. Also the Android version you're on, um, you might want to write down the uh, baseband version. The reason we need all this information is so we can find the right KDZ firmware for our specific LG G4. Also, you're going to want to come in right here and you can see right there where it has the model number and you're going to want to write that down as well. This is the LG-H815. That is my model number. And that's pretty much everything you're going to need in here. Those are the key things to be able to find the correct firmware for your device. So just so you guys can see, this is all mine. Um, this is what I'm actually using right now is my daily driver. It does have root access currently. So by flashing the KDZ, we're actually going to remove root access. And I'm going to show you how to flash the KDZ and restore your firmware without wiping your data. So I can keep all my apps and use my device just the same. So that's going to be the process. Let's go to my computer and download some files we're going to be needing. All right, guys, so basically how this is going to work, we're going to download a bunch of programs. So you're going to need to come in here to uh, rootjunkiessdl.com, click on Android drivers, and download the LG drivers. And you want the latest one should be the bottom right here. So go ahead and download those. It's an EXE for your Windows uh, computer. Just go ahead and run them, and it'll install all the drivers. Okay, that's going to be number one. All right, so the next thing you're going to do is you want to find your KDZ, all right? So this is the firmware file for your device. So technically, I have the uh, LG H right here, 815. This is the uh, firmware, but this is for European model. This is not the model I have. Um, so the best thing to do, and this is take at your own risk, is to come in here and actually put in your MEIE number. Um, now this site, I don't know who runs it. Maybe it's LG, maybe it's not. So it might be a little dangerous in doing that. But if you do, it'll check and find the correct firmware for you. Okay, so that's one way to do it. Otherwise, you're going to have to sit here and search. Type in LG H815. And you can see that there's quite a few to choose from depending on you know your country and carrier. Technically, mine is actually um, Great Britain, United Kingdom. That's actually what my phone is, even though it's a U.S. model, which is kind of cool. But that's what it is. So anyway, that's just basically how you can do it. You can see there's different extensions of the LG H815, like AR or P. So there's some different ones to choose from here. And I just want to point out, this is a great site to get them from. And again, I'll give you a link to this in the description. No big deal. All right. Lastly... Um, oh, actually, one more thing. You're going to want to come over here to this site again. There's other places you can get it, but I've got it here. Um, click on LG G4 and download this right here, the LG Flash Tool 2014 Zip. Go ahead and download it. There's my KDZ if you have the USA model. Um, but right here, just download that file. And then last, I'm going to link you this also because this is basically the guide we're going to be doing on showing you how to... KDZ firmware restore your LG G4, okay? So I'll link you to this. It's XDA post. It's really good. You could read through it, or you can just follow the video, whatever you want to do. All right. So we've looked through all of the files we need to download. We've got everything. Um, KDZ for me is actually almost two gigs, uh, one and three quarter gigs right here. This is mine once you've downloaded it. See, it's a .KDZ. And then um, the LG drivers are right here. You can go ahead and... You know, run that. You can extract the LG Flash Tool 2014 and open it up. 
and then you're just gonna want to click on the LG Flash Tool 2014 EXE. Go ahead and open it, it up. And actually, let's see, let's let it open, but I think we actually wanna be in download mode first. So, that being said, let's go ahead and go to download mode first. So, let's close this program. And to get your device into download mode, you can see it right here. Basically, what you gotta do is you have to power it down. So, if I can hit the power button. There we go, power off. Wait for the device to completely power off. Once it does, this LED light will go away. And then what you're gonna do is with it powered off, you're going to hold the volume up right here. Hold volume up, keep holding it and plug in your device. And when you do this, what's gonna happen is the device is gonna go into download mode, which it is right there. And then that's gonna go away and it's gonna be really dim, but it's gonna have a little USB on it, like right there, very hard to see. And you are in download mode. Now, if you have never been in here, your driver's gonna be installing right now, but they should, mine are already installed, so we should be good to go. So now let's launch the tool. So let's launch the flash tool. And let's select our KDZ file. So we'll open this up. There's my KDZ, it's listed. And it says good. Now, this is the tricky part, or not tricky, but you need to understand. So normal flash right here will flash all the firmware, but not wipe out your apps, your data, your passwords, any of your stuff. And the CSE flash will actually totally wipe your device completely, and it'll be like you just pulled it out of the box. So I don't want to do that. I want all my apps. I use this phone. So I'm going to do normal flash. All right. And for some reason, the read phone does never work for me. So here we're going to click on, let's actually move this over here so you can see it better. So here we're going to click on um, start. And what you should get is this. And... All this looks fine. You can leave it totally like it is. It can say Korea. It's all fine. Just go ahead and hit OK. And what should happen here is you should get this window come up. There you go. And this is going to go ahead and do the full software um, restore, firmware restore for your LG G4. At this point, guys, I'm going to say let's just go ahead and uh, just warn you a couple things. One, you want to make sure that... That's interesting. Um, make sure that you don't bump your cables. Don't touch anything. Let this process go. It could take up to 10 minutes for this firmware restore to finish. Once it's done, it should just reboot the phone and boot itself back up. So um, just going to let it hold, let it go, and we'll come back to it once it wraps up. All right, guys. Well, you can see right here we're at... 89 percent we're at four minutes 20 seconds and our device is actually already rebooting so this last little bit of the bar here i think is just proving that the device booted up so let's just let it finish its process here it's almost done you can see my device is booting here 100 percent and it's done so we're actually done on the computer at this point we can close all the programs and we are good Alrighty, here we go. You can see the device is uh, fully booted, still has all of my passwords, everything's on there. But really, the only thing you're really going to notice right now is that Root's going to be gone because Root's part of system and this firmware restore restores system. So you can see it looks exactly the same. If I go in here to setting or to apps and scroll over, you can see that uh, the Super Su is gone. We can go into root checker, and you can see that, uh, right, no, verify root access, we have no root access. So basically what this does by doing this kind of a firmware restore is it does a couple things. It will obviously restore your device if you brick it. If for some reason the device isn't booting, you can always get into download mode and do a firmware restore. This will technically unroot your device and bring it back to stock. And obviously if you use the wipe data option, you can even wipe out all your apps and everything. So, very nice feature. Love the flash tool. It makes this process really easy. Just find the right KDZ for your LG G4, and you are rocking it. 
Um, that's going to wrap it up for me, guys. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give me a big thumbs up if you do and you like it and you'd like to see more on the LG G4. I can do some more coverage as development happens. That's going to wrap it up for me. Catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.